Continuing with your favorite weekly motoring fix, we are all too aware that the Philippines is exceptionally prone to inclement weather, as our country lies within the so-called Typhoon Belt. With rains often comes flooding, some severe enough to inundate entire communities and endanger lives and property. But leave it to Filipino ingenuity to come up with solutions, or at least a mitigator to this perennial problem that threatens more than half of our 42,000 barangays. At the Capital Commons Center in Basig City, H2O Technologies Philippines Incorporated recently unveiled its revolutionary transport solution almost five years in the making. Everyone, our proud Pinoy me, Salamander! The Salamander is a first-of-its-kind tricycle capable of both land and water travel. It comes in two variants, a fully electric version powered by a 5-kilowatt motor and a fuel-fed 250cc combustion engine that features the company's patent-pending innovation called Hydro Plus, which helps to save on fuel while reducing carbon emissions. We have included one of our innovation, which is Hydro Plus. Uh, we're adding hydrogen to the internal combustion engine. Uh, for, for, a clean, for a cleaner bird and for more power. The Salamander is a rather sleek-looking passenger craft that can reach 80 kilometers per hour on land. But the real value of this versatile vehicle is its equal ability on water. Should people find themselves having to contend with flooding, the Salamander's propeller can be engaged with a throw of a lever. This converts the Salamander into a true water vessel capable of carrying, including the driver, six persons. H2O Technologies engineers insist that the Salamander is designed to withstand a great deal of abuse and still maintain buoyancy and stability which makes it ideal for use as a rescue vehicle amid flooding. Well, uh, the reason behind this is, uh, alam naman natin, we have 42,000 barangays. More than half of it, lagging flood-prone area. So ang baha sa Pilipinas, alam naman natin na hindi na masasolve. Even kahit anong developed countries, pag dumating talaga ang bagyo, hindi mo kayang kontrolin. So, we, we, we make a product na pwede siyang gamitin sa land and pwede sa water, which is salamander. So, the reason behind that, para lang, kunyari, hindi siya binabaha, magagamit siya as regular na gamit. Pagdating naman sa baha, magagamit mo na siya kaagad to save people's lives. H2O Technologies Chairman David Ong outlined three key points about the salamander. First, the vehicle is about supplementing the rescue capabilities of barangays or LGUs in flood-prone areas. Secondly, the company hopes to promote the salamander as a viable business that would attract investors and generate business locally. Finally, the salamander is a showcase of innovations for the H2O team. Again, the priority of H2O Technologies at the moment is to make the salamander available to barangays that need its abilities the most. And the company is on the lookout for investors who believe in its vision and the project's obvious viability. One thing for sure, Binibigyan namin ng lakas ng loob ang younger generation. Uh, siguro a, a decade from now, ma-accepted na ng market to or ma-develop na ng mga young generation na mas maganda pa sa ginawa ko. With the introduction of this salamander, Filipino innovation is again put front and center, showing that hardships and challenges bring out only the very best in us. Congratulations to H2 Technologies and here's to the success of this and other future projects.